and just um, working with the tobacco basket. This is a smaller one that I had gotten from AC Moore and I added two I know you do you do Esther I added two pieces of um, styrofoam to this from the Dollar Tree right kind of in the middle this is the sign that we're working with today heard you coming everybody chose this one last night over the other one The other one had a rust, rust, rusted galvanized background, and they like the blue background better. Some like the other, but that's okay. Then I have a dilemma. I made a new sign today, and I'm not sure which way I like it. So, actually, I did it four ways. <laughs> So here was what we started with the other day. We started with the galvanized and they didn't like that. They preferred the blue. All right, so this one says feeling a little cooped up. Okay, so here's the first option. It's got the mama hen with her chicks with the blue around the sides. Okay, or do you like it with nothing around the sides? Or do you like it with burlap behind? Oops, sorry. Or there's a burlap with a little bit of gray behind it, which made the chicken a little darker. So I'm not sure I like this one, but my husband said, well, give them an option. <laughs> so I don't know. Hi, Virginia. Which one do you think you like the best? It's the same sign, just done with three different backgrounds. This is the burlap, the plain, or the blue feathered. Which do you think looks the best? The one with no, the one in the middle, right? That's the one you think? See, that's what I thought. I thought this was okay but it didn't do enough for the chicken. And because she's a little transparent on the head, it kind of disguised it. And this one I felt was like the clearest of all. Hi, Susan. We're trying to decide, Susan. I know you liked, I think the galvan, was it the blue or the galvanized the other night? We have three choices here. Nine any dot. Which one do you think looks better? Trying to hold them all up so you can see them side by side and it's a little difficult <laughs> there there which one do you think so far i have votes for the middle one Anybody have any opinions? The one on my left. So you like the burlap one. And Esther likes the plain one. Hey, Dawn. I'm just getting everybody's opinion on which sign looks better with this chicken. Feeling a little cooped up, it says. Well, you guys think about it. 
and let me know because I can't decide. I think I like this one the best, but I think you have some versatility with this as far as like what ribbons, um, you know, it's all what everybody's interested in. And last night's poll was, you like the burlap one, Dawn? Okay. So we got two for the burlap, one for the plain. It is. It is more farmhouse. And then we, everybody's opinion last night was the blue one over the rustic one. I mean, I can offer it either way. It doesn't matter. Hey, Levon. So we're going to work with this one today. And I wanted it to kind of pop off the tobacco basket. So I added two pieces of styrofoam here. Now, because it's white and I don't have any moss, if I do, I can't find it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do to disguise it I have some leaves here that I'm just going to take and glue around the outside. Thank you. That's my newest sign. It said, heard you coming. Little play on words there. You like, okay, so you're saying you like this one better, Dawn? Dawn thing is in the way of everything here. Let me get rid of it. There we go. Welcome from Conroe. Susan, the basket came from AC Moore. Um, it was a while ago. I know they have them at Hobby Lobby, but they're much bigger. This one is actually like a 17 by 10, which I like this size. And believe it or not, the ones they used to sell AC Moore were sturdier than the ones I got at, um, at Hobby Lobby, which I had to order. Is that pronounced Iona? I bet you get that from everybody watching. Now, because I didn't have any um, moss... We're going to use these leftover leaves, and I'm just going to glue around the outside. There's my BFF. She got her sign today. <laughs> this is just another way to disguise it without, um, you know. I think everybody loved Wilhelmina's mustache last night. We're just disguising the styrofoam on the back here. Just to cover it up. And I have four of... I had four. There's another one. There's another one. Boy, everything's sticking to everything here. Oh, there's the other one. Esther, or Willie, she wants to know if you cried and laughed when you got your sign. I know she cried. I'm sure, I'm sure she laughed when she really looked at some of the pieces I added to it. I added so much to that sign. I was looking all over for everything. Now I'm using the lighter green ones, one on each side and top and bottom, and then I'm going to fill in with some of these little ones. And it's just to disguise it. Appreciate you spreading the love. I added my Etsy link, Etsy. I'm going to be posting the sign today. <laughs> she did, Esther. I knew she would. She's in the money. <laughs> You'll all get it next um, Tuesday. 
on Tag Team Tuesday. Because this is something we're going to be doing a lot of. Now because this is sitting on top, I'm actually going to cut what's hanging over here. Can you all see okay? How about I spread in a little closer? <laughs> She's not divulging anymore about that sign. The one is her to T. <laughs> Now, Willie goes on at 7 next week, and I go on at 6. We're flip-flopping. So, I'll be on before she will. But you should still be able to catch it before, if you're, you know, in class, you should still be able to catch it. I'm just covering over the styrofoam with some leaves here. Because I can't find my moss. Heck, I still haven't put away uh, Christmas back there. <laughs> so. Ouch. And, sh and uh, Willie is sending me a sign. And then I have to create a wreath with the sign she sends me. I hope I look presentable. I smell like baby puke. <laughs> Got my grandson now. Hey, Angela. How are ya? Did any of you get a chance to watch us on Tag Team Tuesday last night? I added the link to Willie's, and Willie added the link on hers to mine. We're making a tobacco basket today, and because I didn't have any moss, we're actually covering the sides with um, leftover leaves just to kind of disguise it. I'm doing great. I just can't get a lot done with my grandson here. But man, is it nice being able to spend time with him. All he's doing is eating and sleeping and pooping. <laughs> but you just love those sta that stage. I can just love on him. And again, this is just to disguise it. So if you see it from the side, I wanted the sign to sit up some. So that's why I'm doing this. There's no rule that says you have to use um, the moss. So I'm using what I have available. Cause I'm going nuts. I can't, I can't order any wire frames. So I'm tearing apart old wreaths just to work with. All right. So we got to cover it up on the side. Now, again, this is just so this will sit up. Heard you coming. I got hot glue on it. I wanted it just to sit up. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm also going to add some, I'm not going to glue it to this. I'm just going to punch a couple holes and add some wire there. Now that I have my, my hole punch. And if anybody orders a sign for me and you need a hole punched in it, don't hesitate to ask. I can do that. So last night, Willie made a bicycle arrangement, and I made a wreath for a rescue wreath. I think I'm going to do it down 
like this. I hear ya, it's, it's raining here. It's not really cold yet. So. Actually, I want it up higher. It's disguising. There we go. <clears throat> Wire always slips out of my hands. Brought my needle nose down. Okay, so it's going to sit like that. I'm probably going to put a hole here and do this this corner too, just so just so it's steady. Stay, did it? I can't get a good grip on it. The wire is really thin. Let me go back and change it to um, some burlap rope. But I don't have any down here, so we're going to have to use this for now. Just can't seem to get it to twist. I have some really nice rusty wire. So when I find that, I'm swapping this out. All right, now I have this big long vine here, which I'm going to put over here. I don't know where I got this. I use this a lot. I have quite a few pieces of it. Did that come off? Yeah. I like it because it's got so many, it's got variation in color. And then it also has um, different size leaves, which I really like. Plus a few little curly things. This piece fell off, so we're just going to incorporate it right here. Let's see if I have any green wire. Of course you do, but it's not here. Okay. We'll use the metal till we find it.
Actually, we're going to put a little spot of glue on it to hold it in place while we wrap it. Thank you, Janet. it in place. Until I can find the rustic wire that you won't even see. There we go. All right. So I'm going to mount this to the board. the white ones. Had them out here last night. There we go. Disguises nicely with the basket. Can y'all see okay? Janet, okay, Abraham. Yeah, I was talking about that sign last night. I can't wait to see it put together. Abraham is handsome. Jeez. There is a vine growing up the side of the window, so it's kind of playing off of that. This is the same cowl that I used in one of my other signs here, my welcome sign. See, it's the same cowl. Now I can also glue a leaf on top of this pipe cleaner to disguise it too. Alright. I have my flowers running up in the pan there. Now I have some variegated too that I thought I would add in here too. Give it a little different color. Fill it in a little more. That falls right in line with the other one. Add some glue there. We just want a bunch of vine. When my son was little and we used to go get the flowers for the spring you know, for summer that you were going to put in pots on the porch. We used to always buy vinca vine. And he thought that was the funniest thing. Vinca vine. Didn't always come out vinca vine. <laughs> but <laughs> that was his favorite saying. We going to get vinca vine, Mom? 
now I'm watching his son. What a, what a neat thing. Y'all still with me? Yes, the circle of life. Now see, I can cover this up with some um, greenery. In fact, I'll leave it attached because I don't know what I'm going to add there, but I may use it. All right. We got hops, we got some variegated, it'll bring out a little bit of a, another color to it. another piece of this because it's kind of bowing out here in the middle and I don't want that it's nice because you have holes throughout this that you can just attach it right to the tobacco basket oh I love using tobacco baskets there's so many different things you can do with it and I laid awake like half the night last night because I came up with more creative ideas. So, there'll be more to come since I'm running out of wreath bases. <laughs> I'm just adding a little color. This I got from Sims a while back. I forget what they named it. A lot of times they just have numbers on their stuff. And I think I'll add another one here just to keep this here. Did y'all see Levon's pumpkin? Oh my gosh, that was gorgeous, Levon. You can use these as a shadow box. You can use them for just about everything. That's what I like about them. There's so many things you can do with it. <laughs> you know it, girlfriend. <laughs> My head goes almost 24-7. Sometimes I have to have a brandy at night just to unwind and shut my brain off. And I'm not a drinker, but lately, at least once a week I've had one, if not twice a week, just to shut it down. Otherwise, it just doesn't turn off. And I hate that. Tighten these, and then I have to go untighten them. I thought 
this would make a cute welcome sign. I mean, because it plays off heard you coming. I'm going to cover that up with some stuff. Now, I have some. If you all don't know it by now, I just love, 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 love daisies and sunflowers. So. <laughs> I, mean, I hear you. wire is going to drive me insane. There. All right, we got some wispy color in there. Now we're going to get our sunflowers in there. My husband really hasn't drank in years either, and he's been having a beer for dinner. I think it helps the nerves. I like my apricot sours. They're my favorite. Just pushing them down in and then I'm sitting them up straight. That's why I'm leaving enough of a stem. And I'm going to use them all. this down in the middle here and use that to snug this. There we go. Yes. Cool. There. That's the way we want it. Slide it right down through the middle. Like that. And then it holds it. Now, that side, so we're putting it on this side. Come on. And I will go back and disguise these clay cleaners. But for now, they may show for a little bit. There we go. Okay.
Thank you, GF. Let's see, does anybody have a guess as to what Willie's sign has on it? We know she loves hot pink. So when I made the sign, I had to add hot pink. So any other guesses as to what's on it? Nobody's got any guesses. Willie's guess doesn't count. side, that one on that side, so this one will go on this side. And we got one more. Esther, do you have any guesses? Come on, Esther. the mustache was yesterday. <laughs> You're too funny. There ain't no mustache on that sign. Susan says no guess. See, when I'm done, I can just go over and just take a leaf and go ahead and glue it over top of the pipe cleaner, just like I did the styrofoam. Totally disguise it. I said it's hot pink. That's Willie's favorite color. So I had to add hot pink to the sign. So there's hot pink in the sign. <laughs> you know, I had thought about that, Susan, but I knew that's like been so overdone. And and she did do a wreath because I, I checked her Etsy shop because I'm like, well, maybe she hasn't done a wreath, uh, a flamingo wreath. So I can just, you know, I can go ahead and, and do that. But then I saw she had done a flamingo wreath and it's like, okay, that's out. <laughs> Well, that's a good that's a good thought it's what I I thought of so awesome okay let me look at this we need some frilly things here Don't think that didn't cross my mind. It did. But I thought she's she did that already. I can't I can't make a sign and give her give it to her for something she's already done. <laughs> 
but that's that's all I could think of when she, when I asked her. I said, "What's your favorite color?" And it's like, oh. And you have to understand, Willie is one of a kind. She does not follow the rules. You know what I mean in design. Her her designs are strictly one of a kind. And they have to be whimsical for the most part. So I think I got the hot pink. I think I got the whimsy in there too. Cause that's, that's her style. Yes. Oh, thanks, Esther. I'm tired of making wreaths. I wanted to do something different. To give you guys something different. Is that the same old thing? Plus, like I said, I'm running, I'm running out of wreath bases. So I don't know where I'm going to look next. Although, if I order from Sims, they're really good. If I order today, I'll have them by Friday. So that's always nice. I'm just going to add a different touch of yellow in here. contrast and I don't know if I'm going to add hops I don't know One thing you always have to remember is flowers grow wild. They don't stick to the plan either. So you kind of have to mix it up. Kinda over here. But I'm going to grab this whole bundle and bring it through. Come on, Mom. Let's see. 
here. If I wanted to bring this around like this, that'll cover up some of the styrofoam there. If I get it right. Actually. I want to put a small bow here, so I think I'll hold off on that. I don't know if I want to put any of this in there. Let me just try it. Yeah, that does look good. Another little bit of dimension there. I think this is boxwood. Sharon, no. I actually um, used pipe cleaners to tie it to the side. I do have foam in the bottom so that the sign sits up from being, you know, I didn't want it in the bottom. And then I covered up the foam with leaves because I can't find my moss. So, yeah. I got some spots I'm going to have to go back and kind of glue leaves to kind of disguise it. I'm just putting this in random places just to pull out some of the, you know, dimension. It'll be in the replays. I mean, it'll be in my, on my, um, Facebook page under videos because I showed how I glued that down. And then I have the vine, one long vine here kind of attached in different places to the side with a white pipe cleaner. That's what we're doing now. We're just adding some little stuff. This needs a little more color right here. There we go. This is kind of buried under there. That's not where I wanted it. We've got one more of these. Let's see. I need some right here. I need to pull that up.
And I think I'm going to end up moving this down some, just so it doesn't. There we go. And if I need this to cover up anything, I think it's going to have to be like in this corner right here. Or I can place it down here to kind of jet off the side here and come around the bottom of the sign. No, I haven't, because I don't have one near me. Remember, I'm Hobby lobby -less, remember? <laughs> All I have right now is a Michaels and a Joann's. So, that's the extent of my, and a Dollar Tree, which, if I can't order them online, they may have some in the store. I think I need a little more of that white just right here so let me use this one no, I got that in there pretty good so we'll leave that where is it I know there was an extra one in here it's there it's just not out okay let's spread it out there we go all right heard you were coming. Now what I have here is I have some roping that I'm going to use to make a, to tie it. Let's see. I'm going to go through these. These ends. Okay, thanks Susan. don't have is tape down here to kind of keep the ends from fraying. There we go. Now I'm just going to tie this in a knot under here. Grab the other end and pull. And I will hot glue that to there. There we go. Yep, the rope stayed on the other side. Come on. There we go. Let's capture it in the knot here. There. This is not easy rope to, to knot, that's for sure. It's not easy to pull either. There's our hanger. Hi, Margie. All right, now let's make a let's make a hand bow for right here. Now I have a few choices. I have the cow print, definitely. I have the um, sunflower, matches perfectly. I have this blue, which matches the blue here. And to 
make it look country, I have this. I need wire frames. The wire wreath frames. And I needed, um, they have a square one I'd like to try. That's what I was looking for. From the Dollar Tree. Get that through the back there. There we go. All right, now I want to kind of see just how big I want my bow to be. And I'm not liking this now. So. Um, 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 um. I think that's not going to work. Let me think. What else do I have? That's the burlap. Okay, give me a bunch from Dollar Tree. That would be awesome. Thanks, BF. I don't got Do we need this? Burlap? Although that doesn't look too bad. But I wanted something with a little color. Let's see. I'm just checking out my country. Ribbon options. wanted a wide. Now that's too... Any of it. I'll take any of it. So let's see if any of these will work. Might not. I don't know what that'll look like with the uh, with this. I don't know. What are your thoughts? doesn't look right with it and I don't know if I want to bring red into it I don't want to bring red into it that's just not looking right so that looks better with that I do like the brown though what are your thoughts? I'm definitely going to use these two. And I'm definitely going to use this one. So, which one? Any, any suggestions? Is anybody awake? <laughs> you think orange? All right, let me look. Let me look. All right. I'm to open this. Hmm. 
pink orange okay there's the three choice the thought to use orange. Awesome idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Hey Faith, welcome. We're sitting here trying to figure out what ribbon to use to make our bow. And we're they're thinking we're gonna go with those four colors. What are your thoughts? This is the uh, tobacco wreath that we've been working on. And this is the sign that says, heard you coming. It's one of my newest signs. All right, I guess we're going with the orange. We could, we could, even, we could even add the brown if we wanted. And you got brown in here. And you got brown in here. So which does it look better? These four colors? Or these four colors? Anybody out there? <laughs> I know you're out there. Brown with the four? So you're saying use all of them? It's um, a sign in a tobacco basket. So you don't think that blue pulls out the blue in the sign. Not sure about the blue or the gingham. Hmm. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait for it. throw this in there. That's another one that I have. So what do you think of those four? See, I always like to have a solid in my wreath, in my bow. I love having a solid in there. All right. We'll ditch the blue. What if we went with this color combination? This, this, and that. You've got some green in the sign. You've got the blue in the sign. 
You've got the yellow. Sure. <laughs> I know what you meant, Faith. <laughs> These four, Esther? Or did I mess it up and I should have stayed with these four? Um, moss green. Actually... This would be the moss green I have, so we'd have to ditch this blue. There's this, this, and this. You like it without the blue. All right. So I'm getting hearts for this one, this combination then, the moss. So I don't know that I like the moss with it. Let's see. Just can't make up my mind. many choices. <laughs> if I didn't have the moss with the check then I would throw the orange in there but that I think I'm playing it safe this I'm not playing it safe Oh, so many choices. Okay. It's definitely the moss green, then, we like. All right. No. All right, we're just doing a process of elimination here. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe I might just free this up here and put the bow right here in the middle and then pull some of this stuff down in here. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Let's do this. Using my hook with on. All right. Just gonna do a three. Looper here. Put it in here to hold it. 
since I can't get my other bow maker to work, right? And this one's falling apart because this used to be my girlfriend's and I sat on it. And so I went out and bought her a new one. <laughs> and I taped it together. Alright, so we're done with this. We gotta get some cow spots in there though, for sure. I'm with like three loops and two tails so my two tails will be on this side now because they're on that side okay I hear my grandson up there now, go with this one next. No, it's the moss. Just lost power. There. I see I wouldn't have thought of the moss screen. I love it when it, you guys give me ideas. dovetails now. Well, wait till I put it on. I might want to shorten them. And I'm going to end up moving some of my flowers and such now that I'm putting the bow here. going to get moved down. This is going to get moved down. Hey, Thelma. I can't do this from a sitting down position. I gotta be up looking down on it. That's why I'm getting confused.
better. Trying to find my brown tails. There they are. Heard you coming. Well, I think I'm gonna roll these up. <laughs> Not really. I have so much stuff that has to get done. I haven't even done my taxes yet. And that's why I'm laying there worrying last night. How am I going to get them done when I don't have time? So. So I'm going to take what I took from behind the bow. And I'm just going to fill that in and around. Alright, let me look. That's good. So I got, what I say, some stuff to fill back in. Because this isn't going to stay under there. I know I pulled out another. Where'd it go? On the floor. I think I'll put one of these in here. And I got my five in there. And then I'll work these in and around. Get some yellow in here. Get some more of this in here. I just have a little bit of rearranging. That's all since I decided to put the bow there. But you can kind of get an idea for it, the feel of it, the feel of the design. What do you think? Did we nail it with those colors? <laughs> Somebody is going to do them for me. I got to give them all the information to put on it. That's the problem. I don't got all my ducks in a row.
And then for the chicken, you're all saying you like. Thank you. This is going to get fixed because that's not cutting it. And this might just go in there. I don't know. I have to just go back and play with it. All right, so on this one, what did we think? But then we thought the blank one or the one with the burlap worked best. And ditch the blue. Thank you. I think I'll offer it in all three. Or we'll, we'll do a vote on, the, on my page. We'll vote on it. I got to clean this up here, the sign. But there we go. We're all ready to go. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for all the suggestions. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Willie. Don't forget, tune into our, our Tag Team Tuesday next week, Tuesday at 6, 6 and 7. Oh, sure. Okay. We got, golly, feeling a little cooped up. with that um, burlap or with the blue or just plain. You too, Esther. Thank you. Stay warm. <laughs> I'll put them on, I'll put them on my um, Facebook page and see what everybody says. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a great evening and thanks. See you soon.